if your airless handheld sprayer is not providing an even spray pattern. This video will help you troubleshoot and diagnose. If the spray pattern is uneven, this could be caused by a number of different issues. The operator may be moving too fast while spraying. The operator should slow the movement to achieve the desired spray pattern. Spray tips can get partially clogged. Unclog the spray tip by turning the prime spray knob to the prime position. Reverse the spray tip to the unclogged position and set the speed control to 10. Aim the sprayer at a waist area and turn the prime spray knob to the spray position. Pull the trigger to clear the clog. Turn the prime spray knob back to the prime position. Rotate the spray tip back to the spray position. Turn the prime spray knob to the spray position. If the material is difficult to atomize, increase the Pro Control 2 pressure control until the desired pattern is achieved and hold the sprayer 12 inches from the wall. Make sure you are using the correct tip and pressure selection. Dirty outlet valves can make the spray pattern uneven. Clean your outlet valves. For more information on cleaning outlet valves, refer to the video link provided. If your spray pattern is still uneven, the pump may have reached the end of its life and the pump assembly needs to be replaced. For more information on replacing the pump assembly, refer to the video link. If the spray pattern has tails, this could be caused by a number of different issues. The Pro Control 2 pressure control may be set too low. Increase the speed until the desired pattern is achieved. Make sure the tip you are using is the correct size for the application of the material being used. Refer to the tip and pressure selection guide in the manual. The spray tip may be worn or damaged. Replace the spray tip. For more information on replacing the spray tip, refer to Spray Tip Installation in the manual. The material may need to be thinned or is not compatible with the sprayer. Thin the material according to the manufacturer's recommendations or try a different material. If the spray pattern is dripping or sagging, this could be caused by a number of different issues. The operator may be moving too slowly while spraying. Move faster while spraying to achieve the desired spray pattern. The spraying is too close to the surface. Move the sprayer 10 to 12 inches away from the surface being sprayed. Another cause of this issue is when the operator is holding the trigger while changing directions. Always release the trigger when changing directions. The Pro Control 2 pressure control may be set too high. Decrease the speed until the desired pattern is achieved. Replace the tip with a smaller size to reduce paint flow. If the spray pattern is still dripping or sagging, the tip is worn or damaged and needs to be replaced. If the spray pattern is too narrow, the sprayer may be too close to the target surface. Move the sprayer 10 to 12 inches away from the surface. Make sure you are using the correct tip for the material being applied. Refer to the tip and pressure selection in your manual. The spray tip may be worn or damaged. Replace the spray tip. If the spray pattern is too wide, the sprayer may be too far away from the target surface. Move the sprayer 10 to 12 inches from the surface. The spray tip you are using may be incorrect for the application of the material. Install a different size spray tip. If your spray pattern spits at the beginning or end of the pattern, the spray tip may be partially clogged or excess material has accumulated on the spray tip guard assembly. Unclog the spray tip by turning the prime spray knob to the prime position. Reverse the spray tip to the unclogged position and set the speed control to 10. Aim the sprayer at a waist area and turn the prime spray knob to the spray position. Pull the trigger to clear the clog. Turn the prime spray knob back to the prime position. Remove and clean the spray tip. Make sure the spray tip is clean and not worn or damaged and is completely inserted into the spray tip guard. Make sure the sprayer is not dirty by flushing and cleaning it. If the sprayer still spits at the beginning or end of the pattern, the front valve has reached the end of its life and will need to be replaced. If your spray tip continues to drip or ooze material after the trigger is released, make sure the spray tip is completely inserted into the spray tip guard and make sure the tip is not worn or damaged. If the material leaks around the spray tip guard or spray tip handle, make certain the spray tip seal and seat are installed properly and are not damaged. 
To prevent spray tip leaks, make certain the spray tip and guard are installed properly. First, perform the pressure relief procedure by disconnecting the power supply and turning the prime spray knob to the prime position. Remove the spray tip assembly. Press out the one seal with the rack tip. Replace one seal on the spray guard using the spray tip to insert a new seal into the tip guard. Insert the spray tip, making sure it's pushed all the way into the spray guard. Screw the spray tip and guard assembly onto the sprayer and tighten. If you are still experiencing problems with your sprayer, consult your local Graco service center.